Hey there, Jays. Welcome. Yeah, Maple, it's going to be a little rough, but we're not too bad. I did some grinding off stream again. Uh, I think realistically next we'll go for Blaine because I think the, the title to the stream is a typo. I, I have two badges left, I think. In fact, I can easily check. Yeah, I have two badges left. Blue is going to be harder, so we're going to go for Blaine, which we'll have to surf to get to. So let's switch our party around. Oh yeah, I, I know it's you, Jeremiah. I just wasn't sure how you want to be addressed when you're using that uh, username. So. We definitely want to take one of our two Gyaradoses. Uh, okay, I don't need to do that. I just want to see the moves, which I can see. Bite, Aqua Tail, Surf, Ice Fang. Uh, I think this is a better move set. Take Sun Flora. In place of, uh, hmm. Well, first of all, we have to have, we have to have Shucky. Shucky's required, and Shucky's egg group, I believe, is bug, though let me verify. Uh, just a second, I'll look at uh, chat in a second. Yeah, bug. I'm doing okay, uh, Jeremiah, how are you? Okay, so because... Because of that, we need another in the bug egg group. Currently, we had a uh, shroomish or parasect. Had grinded up, so we have a few more options there. We can switch in or beetle, metapod, or weedle. I'll be honest, none of them are good. Hmm. What do, what do we... Let me actually just... What moves do you have? Tackle, Giga Drain. Interesting bug buds. Great. Ah, uh, awful. Mm -hmm. God. They're all so bad. I might go with Beautifly. With, with Weedle the Beautifly. Parasect is so bad. They're all so bad, though. Oh, what are their stats? Oh god, I'm sorry. This is a really hard choice. Uh, we're headed to uh, we're headed to Blaine's next. Jay, the fire gym leader. That's where we're gonna have to head towards because we only have two gyms left. And I'm doing well. I'm I'm tired. Long day. Stuff happened at work that I don't think I should discuss on stream. But I'm doing okay. It, was, it just was a stressful day, and I've saw a lot of traffic in my mouth, and that's why it might be hard to understand. Sorry. Okay, you swarm. That's not bad. Seventy-two special attack. Way better physical attack. Like, jeez. Maybe I should keep, maybe I should keep Shroomish. Like, they're all bad choices. But it's going to do the most damage. That is some decent physical attack. So yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep them. Uh, I would say it was a bad day, J J uh, Jeremiah. It was just a stressful day. I'm still learning my new job. So I really, any days that are kind of interesting, it just... Stuff happened at work that wasn't bad for me, but it was bad for other people. That's all I can say. <laughs> so... I think we will switch out. Hypno and Alakazam are paired right now, as well as Porygon 2 and... Golem. 
Golem's gonna be useful for playing. So as good as Hypno and Alexam are, I think I want to switch them out for uh, a Gyarados for some Flora. And I need a Water 2 to pair with it, which are either either of these two. I can have another Gyarados, or I can have you. For the sake of some sort of, I guess it's some sort of diversity, I don't really know. I'll, I'll go with Aracuda. Uh And we are going to have the party set up like that. Alexam or Hypno? Uh, Alexam, definitely. Hypno is creepy. Hypno is unsettling in its design. Alexam's really cool, though. Also, Hypno, uh, as w uh, I accidentally pointed out to one of our other viewers, JJ, Drowsy looks like it's wearing pants w until it evolves, and he did not like the fa the concept that that means that when Drowsy evolves into Hypno, he loses his pants. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. I can't... This way is not a way to get to, uh... To get to Blaine. Uh... Before we actually... Well, first of all, we usually play with a little speed. Before we go all the way to Blaine, we do have some routes we haven't gone through. On the other hand, that means card draws. And card draws right now are risky. Because we actually are in a decent place. Sure, there's a chance we can wipe out some rules, but it's much more likely that things are going to get worse before they get better. So let's actually, let's skip all that. We will very briefly switch in Pidgey or Firo so he can fly. This <laughs> is pant shed, please. I mean, he does. He doesn't... Hypno doesn't have pants, but Drowsy very much looks like he's wearing pants. It's not my fault that everything about Hypno is a little creepy. Uh, okay, so before we actually... Before we even do that, we have somebody while I was grinding ask for a rematch. I don't go and rematch trainers while I'm grinding, even though... It might be efficient because I have it fast forwarded to like times four speed and in the background of stuff and so I just do mindless grinding. Plus flying to them is a pain. But there is a chance that uh... There is a chance that they might give an item or something. I don't know. We want to go. Uh, we want to go do the rematch. Even if they don't, I grind it. I didn't gr like over grind, so XP is still useful. Uh, I don't think it necessarily needs to be creepy to be psychic type. I think there's lots of plenty good psychic types that are not creepy. I don't, like, I, I'll use a Hypno, especially in this run, if we didn't have access to Alakazam, because Alakazam also has better stats. If we didn't have access to Alakazam, I would totally use a Hypno. And I had, but Hypno was mainly in the party because we needed another Pokemon in the human-like egg group to pair with Alakazam because of the lovers. Hypno's not bad, but I mean, honestly, Hypno's probably gotten worse over the years, only because other stuff has gotten better. In Gen 1, Psychic was so overpowered that all, most Psychic-type Pokémon were great by default, and Hypno is 
probably then therefore one of the upper ones just by being psychic. Uh, I don't need to actually fight a ton of coral. I don't want to fight. And I'll admit, I actually like Drowsy a little more than I like Hypno. Hip Hypno, like Drowsy isn't ke uh, creepy in the same way. Drowsy, I like the tapir thing. Crap. This doesn't, this isn't going to work. I came all the way out here. I don't even have a Pokemon Waterfall, do I? What do you have? You have Waterfall. I can go that way. I Fine, I'll go that way. Well, the glitch happened again. So we are going to save and reset. Because I honestly don't know why this glitch happens. I should look into it at one of these times. Not that it's going to matter much. Does it? Okay, it keeps the speed when I reset. That happens to you too. This isn't much better. Excuse me. Up oh, and there is... Yeah, when, when the glitch is acting up, if I go through a doorway a lot of times, it just becomes pure darkness. Wow, I've never had the glitch happen at load up. Well, I mean, that wasn't even, didn't even look like the same glitch. I haven't seen it where they're just shadows. Like, they're just invisible. Okay, so let's make our way around... Slowpoke. We don't care. We have already again. Another nope. That's Goldeen. Yeah, all that deliberating to take Parasect with us is not even like Parasect is going to be super useful. Though also. It's not even like Parasex the worst thing in our party. We do have a Shuckle. Even if JJ says shuck Shuckle too strong. Like, when I was grinding with Shuckle, it was- I was attacking- I was fighting things level 20 with a level 40-something Shuckle using Strength, which is a fairly strong attack and taking like eight hits to beat them because Chuckle is so bad. I forgot, what was it? Was it you? I hope it wasn't before the cave. I don't remember who wants to fight me. Was it you? No. Not you. Yes, it was you. Ma'am, what do you have, Rena? A Growlithe. I don't think we have it. anything super. F oh! Both do intimidate. It doesn't matter to me because I'm a special attacker. Uh, we will go with a stab try attack. There we go. Star you. Well, we cannot switch because of the waterfall. But I think a single discharge should be enough. Like, if we could get a dubious disc and evolve Porygon 2 to Porygon Z, that would be great. Porygon 2, though, is already pretty strong. Porygon Z would just wreck things. But, like, as you can see, we're one-shotting things anyways. Okay, where is... Let 
Let's check the map, see if anybody else has a, wants a rematch. There would be an exclamation mark. Yeah, somebody does in Route 34. Ah, uh, what's the quickest way to, uh... No, we need to go all the way back. Because we don't have fly! Whoopee! Yeah, this is fine. Gotta go through some grass. Gotta go through some water. You gotta run from a tentacle. It's kind of funny that we traced liquid ooze. We would have had a liquid ooze Porygon too. Clear body. Okay, let's surf through here. Oh my god! It is a pain to fight trainers over here. Uh, I wish we could have something with fly in the party right now, but... We can use it to get tr from place to place, but we can't indefinitely keep something in our party for fly if it's not legally usable. We could theoretically switch in uh, our Firo, Pidgey or Firo, with fly instead of something else, but we'd also have to switch out whatever partner it is. And I think the only option we'd have is our Noctowl, which... I mean, Noctowl's not bad, but two flying types aren't really going to help us right now. Okay. Load up Bill's PC. Grab our bird friend. Exit Bill's PC. Exit the Poké Center, fly to Goldenrod. Uh, normally we'd have to switch Fero back again, but for the sake of saving time, we're just gonna go. Uh, Battle. We have Waterfall in play. We're not gonna use Pidgey anyways. Hmm. We'll go across here. I think it's you, right? No. I swear we had a trainer in this room. We do. It's the one up here, isn't it? You. Uh, I'll do a side beam. Level 17 Geodude. This wasn't even worth coming here for. Her. Like, that's like no XP. Oh, another level 17 Geodude. Yeah, is, the, is that what your third one is too? A third level 17 Geodude? No, it's Psyduck. Wow, what a diverse party. At least you have a Psyduck. While we are here, though, I think I skipped 
a few trainers down through this water bit because I was worried about fighting them at the time. We're over leveled, so we might as well. I think there's some items behind them. Of course, we have to get by this thing. Oh, further south. Yeah, these. Because you have to do a double battle. There's no items here, I guess. You have to do a double battle followed by a single battle, and double battles are scary and when you're in Nuzlocke conditions, which we were for a lot of the run. Now it's no big deal, plus we're overleveled. Ooh, that's not good. We would hit some flora. I guess we'll just do that and that. Okay, that bite took it out. And try to took that out because we are more than twice their level. Oh, a Starmie. And a Sea King. Uh... Interesting tidbit. These three trainers that were doing a double battle and then a single battle. In the original Gold and Silver, there was no such thing as double battles. So these three trainers were three back-to-back -back single battles originally. But because by Heart Gold, Soul Silver, they were, uh, they had double battles. The two now trigger is a double battle, the first two. Oh, it's not immediate. I think, I thought in the original that is immediate though. Might be immediate in the original, I'm not sure. Either way, Shelter. You are no threat. We are not going to do anything to you this turn because you use protect. But now we get to discharge you. Voice dirt. There we go. Well, all these battles almost got Rotom to level 55. Power herb, that's what they give. That's not that super useful. Okay, now let's fly. I don't think there's anything else. Unless, nope. So now we are going to try to make our way to Blaine. Unfortunately, we have a few places on the way so we are going to draw a few cards and that may throw a wrench in all our plans but we are going to we're going to see what happens also i'd theoretically love to go to mount moon right now but going to mount moon means drawing a couple more cards and it's Right now, we don't want to draw cards. We don't need to. That's something I've really quickly learned about the King's Lock, that when you only want to draw cards when you're already in a bad place and you're hoping for some relief. When things are already bad, you don't want... Or when things are still good, you don't want to draw cards. Uh... Th we don't have cut with us, right? We do have cut with us. Okay, we can go around the, uh, the Verdian Forest. We don't need... We've already gone through Verdian Forest. I forgot about Kurt. Well, we might just not do Kurt today if we get 
But I might when I get to Pokemon Center, if I remember. Uh, you look straight vanilla for playing? Uh, I mean, I have yet to do anything like a Nuzlocke or King's Lock when I'm playing uh, on my own. I think these are good challenge runs for a uh, stream. Because like straight vanilla is almost mindless to me. I can I can do that fine. There's no there's no risk. My girls just like bug Pokemon so much. Not all girls just like bug Pokemon, Doug. They're butter free. Uh we were a little discharger. I should have healed. Oh well. So yeah, there are a few a few bug catchers down here that we haven't. I don't know how many. There are bug catchers down here we haven't fought yet because we didn't finish going through it too before we changed directions. Oh, I have to. Well, thank you, Jeremiah. I honestly, it's just it's just years of playing the game that make me somewhat competent at it. I'm no competitive player or anything, but I've played every entry of Pokemon, pretty much. So I... Yeah. It's, it generally doesn't take much, uh, much of my focus to do vanilla runs. Uh, sure, we'll just keep training Rotom for now. Can't believe I've made it this far. I mean, let me know. Let me, let me uh, clue you in on a little secret. I with uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, these remakes of Gen Two. I actually never finished the Kanto part of the game. So, which is why I'm kind of fumbling around here a lot. I haven't done the Kanto part really since uh, the original Gold and Silver. So like, I made it this far purely by just putting the time in on stream. Oh, you want me to review uh, Pseudo Wudo? Okay. Pseudo Wudo was a uh, Gen 2 Pokemon. It was a, uh, it was in some ways kind of the Snorlax of Gen 2 because it was a static encounter blocking a path uh, in Johto. And it originally appeared like a funny looking tree that you couldn't get past. And you had to get a squirt bottle to squirt it with water, which made it upset and it would attack you because it turns out it not only was it not a tree, it wasn't even grass type, it was rock type. Which back in the day, Gen 2, when a lot of us were experiencing that all for the first time and we didn't have a... We didn't have like the internet and stuff. Some of us had walkthroughs, but I pl I first played the game, a Japanese ROM of the game before it even came out in the U.S. Because I was an impatient young child, and I had a parent that uh, knew how to get set that up for me. And it had a it had an English patch, but it only patched a little. So, like, I didn't know what was going on with that funny looking tree, and. Just when I, when I eventually figured out how to get the squirt bottle, which is a lot of fumbling because it was in Japanese, and spray it with that, I was very surprised that the Pokemon that looked like a tree was not a tree. It was not a plant type. Pseudo Widow's name comes from Pseudo, P S E U D O, which means like, like fake, like not real, and wood. It is. Fake wood, but really what pseudo wood is is petrified wood, a real phenomenon. And so it's a... Uh, it's a, a rock that looks like a tree. And this is supposedly for some sort of defense mechanism or something. I've never quite figured it out. I don't know what the benefit of a rock type pretending to be a grass type is. Other than, I guess, so people don't spray it with water, because why would you spray a but you would water a tree. It doesn't make sense. That being said, I like Pseudo Wood's design. 
it's a very simple but quirky little Pokemon. It's one of the, the signature Pokemon I think of when I think of Gen 2. Is Pseudo Wudo is probably one of the first 5 to 10 that I think of. And I think even though it's not very great, it was also the first pure rock type. The only pure rock type until Gen 3, I believe. And it just, I don't know, I like it. I, it's not a completely competitive, it's not very a competitively useful Pokemon, it's not even super useful in the game, it's not that great. But its design is interesting to me, it's uh, kind of source material, it's, in general I like it, I would probably give it a solid 8 out of 10. That being said, I would love Pseudowoodo to get a uh, regional variant or evolution or something, Pseudowoodo deserves some more love. A lot of gen Pokemon do, and a lot they did get some, but there are others that still need it, and Pseudo Widow's one of those. Oh, yeah, you were you were the one that taught me how to catch Pokemon in Gen One. Cool. Yeah, I don't think I it won't even let me battle Blue even if I wanted to out of order. I have to do him last. Thanks, Jeremiah. I, uh, I like to think I know my Pokemon pretty well. And honestly, I'd score a few little higher if it was more useful. I do think it's worth it that I should have to at least consider how useful it is, and it's not super useful. But I otherwise like the Pokemon. What's effective as grass? Uh, grass is weak to fire, flying, bug, poison, and ice. Rock is not strong. Oh, no, rock is strong as fire, yeah. So I guess that's a thing to keep fire types away, but what is the fire type trying to do? Trying to... No. That wouldn't make sense, because that would be if it was a grass type pretending to be a rock type. But it's a rock type depending... D pretending to be a grass type. Unless you're saying that it's Hunt's fire type Pokemon, which would be kind of weird if you're, if you're saying it might be an ambush predator. But I don't think that... I don't know. I, I have a tough time buying that one. I'm gonna buy some netballs. I have the money to spare right now. And sure, for a game gameplay mechanic, that's sure. I, I like to think of Pokemon like how do they fit lore wise? In terms of gameplay, then sure it could could trip up players that expect it's a grass type and try to use a fire type. But it's worth noting that the only way in Gen 2 that you have a fire type Pokemon that early, aside from trading with another player. The only way you would is if you picked Cyndaquil. So that would be a trap purely for Cyndaquil. Uh, like, players. What is... Oh, oh, uh-huh. I don't... No, I don't want to do this. Do I want to do this? Just a minute. Let me check. Let me check to see if this is worth doing. Uh, trainer house. Uh, well, give me BP. Oh, what is what does BP get me here? Uh, so what does he have? Ugh, rest, fire, and water. 
Gen uh, four battle points. Uh, Battle front. I think it only matter. It'll get me stuff for the battle frontier. Which I can go to. It'll just give me one BP at a time, though. And there, we don't have much incentive for doing all that Battle Frontier stuff. That's time-consuming, we won't get experience. Sudor's purpose in life is to trip up people who pick Cyndaquil. <laughs> I mean, perhaps. I, you can also then make that argument that bug type, though. That bug strong as grass. Somebody could be like, oh, I'll use a bug type against this, and then bug is weak to rock, so... So you can you can make that argument. I just mean from a lore perspective, though. I don't really understand pseudo widow's uh, reason for looking like a tree. I guess the best I can think of is actually his bug types that might feed on plants. But no, why would it? It wouldn't want to lure them in. What's it just wants to squish them? Like, I I don't know. I I continue to not find any sort of way it makes sense from a lore perspective. Let's go. This guy get Dream Eater. Which we probably will never use unless we have to, because Dream Eater is horrible. Mainly because you have to waste two slots. One with a move that puts opponents to sleep, and one for Dream Eater. And Dream Eater is not a bad attack, but like it's only usable when they're asleep. There's just too many hoops. Not worth it. Okay, but we are in Route 1. Route 1 is a new route. So we get to draw a card. We drew a four of wands. That is awful. Cool. Great. Let me add that to the overlay, but for those that don't know, four is elements, so that means we cannot use stab attack or stab yeah stab attacks which are moves that are the same type as we are so for example well let's see if who what we even are allowed to use now let's make sure we have moves for everybody uh rotom here can only use discharge side beam and signal beam which is most of their attacks they're probably fine some floor here can only can use bite and ice fang no water attacks Aracuda here can only use horn attack. Okay, great. Machop here can only use fire blast and rock smash. That's not good. Shroomish here can only use cut and rock smash. That's even worse. And Chucky here can only use, uh, well, that can actually use anything but bug bite. That's still really not good. It wasn't the worst card we could draw, but it was pretty bad. Uh, do we get to... Let me check to see if we get to... What am I checking? If we, oh yeah, if we get a draw, or uh, encounter. 
Catch the first Pokemon we see that does not share a type with any of our current party Pokemon. I don't think there are any, but let me check. I mean, vanilla, er, and not in vanilla, in red and blue, in Gen 1, Route 1's only Rattata and Pidgey, which both have normal types, so they wouldn't be able to use because of Porygon 2. In Gen 4, also has Sentra, Fur, and Hoot Hoot, all of which are still part normal. Uh, headbutting can get Pineco or Wurmple, both part bugs, so we can't do those. Or Lediba, also part bug. So yeah, there is not a single Pokemon we can catch here. Cool. I forgot to do fly again. Whatever. To go to Kurt, but... The worst part now is we do no we no longer have a legal super effective move for Blaine. That is going to definitely hurt us. Oh great! For her is using double team. Yeah, the Four of Wands may have just already put a pretty big, uh, pretty big roadblock in our plan for tonight. Oh, a Pidgeot. That's easier to deal with than the, uh, it because we just have a super effective discharge. Okay, what about you? What do you got, kid? A jinx, interesting. Uh, you're, I think we, yeah, you're eating a bug. This is fine. Single beam should probably one shot the jinx. Yeah. Electabuzz. Okay. I'm gonna throw a guess out here and say that their third Pokemon is going to be a Magmar. If they have a Jinx and Electabuzz, a Jinx and an Electabuzz, I think the third would be a Magmar. Let's see if I'm right. Assuming we, I mean we're gonna get to it, but like, we might lose Rotom at this rate. Uh, I don't feel like wasting a healing item though. You know, we almost never use Psychic Ghost types or Electric Fire, Water, Grass. Dang, Psychic type was the most broken in Gen 1. Ghost type was actually not good in Gen 1, mainly because there wasn't any, like the only ghost attack that wasn't fixed damage was Lick. But that being said, I, the gases on actually were fine in Gen 1 because of their normal immunity and their high special. 
Magic coat, that's uh Oh, that's that. Yeah, I don't care about magic coat. There we go, now I don't have to hear the beeping anymore. And I was right, it's a Magmar! How did I ever know? Oh, because they were kind of a trio back then. Is that gonna take us out? Almost. I mean, next turn I will. That move, that was actually a bad move to pick, but it didn't matter what I picked. Well, we have to use some Flora, which seems like it'd be great, but we cannot use water attacks, so... I'm gonna bite it. It's going to confuse us, that's... annoying. We'll try again to bite. No, this time we can't. Lava Plume. Please let us bite. Thank you, that should be enough. Uh... I don't... I don't care. Whatever. Just put a... Pokemon in the front. Actually, no. I'll, I'll keep it that way. We'll just use some Flora. Oh, you're the camera dude. I don't want, I don't want to. Okay, this creep has been waiting for someone like us. Ace Trainer French with an Absol. Uh, we will use Aquatail. Oh wait, we can't use Aquatail! Oops, oh well. We were gonna probably beat it anyways with Ice Fang. Might have taken two shots, we might have saved ourselves a tiny bit of damage, but... Either way, bite here. I was just gonna rock Alakazam. So, uh, I think given that four, our next plan is we're still gonna try to make it to Cinnabar Island. And we're gonna hope the four clears up by then, but if it does not, we might go explore some other places to draw some, try to draw some cards, hopefully get rid of that four. Going to fight red? Uh, eventually. Eventually we'll fight red. We have to get two more badges still. But the, uh, the poll on Twitter a few weeks back won that people want to see us fight, uh, red. So we're gonna go all the way to beat red. Ice Fang's fine here. Oh, it survived. And there we go. Starmie. Well, that looks like another job for Bite, because it's part Psychic. Or we're just gonna get destroyed by Thunderbolt. That's all that's gonna happen here. Yep. Good job, Starmie. We have to use Aracuda, even though this is not a good matchup. Because of the waterfall, though. We have to use Horn Attack, because that's our only legal move. We got confused. Oh, we hit with Horn Attack. It's going to be Thunderbolt. Of course it will. We survived, mainly because we're higher level. Get another Horn Attack in. It's going to take two more, and I don't think we have that on our side. Yeah, Thunderbolt's going to almost kill us. 
and confusion. Is that going to finish it off? No, we'll get a horn attack in. But now it's going to uh, speed. Yep, take us out with a thunderbolt, just as I expected. Now, unfortunately, we have to use my chop. I don't want to do that, but we do. Uh, it doesn't really matter, it has so little health. It's gonna resist this, but it doesn't matter. We take times four, so I, we don't even... Oh, we do get to do one attack in. Okay, well that actually came closer than I wanted it to. 